Okay, folks, good evening again, um, and welcome to another of our Alleviated 8 uh, group meditation sessions. Um, um, we thought in retrospect, actually later today, um, tonight's session's about uh, sleep, uh, and this problem with sleep seems to affect a great many people, uh, and uh, it may be that this is an exercise, if you're having trouble with sleep, you could actually do in bed. Uh, and we might be a bit early for some, but uh, it's just a thought. Uh, you, could, you could actually do this in, uh, in bed and, and we'll put it on Facebook. Uh, I don't know quite how you'd go tying into it on Facebook, but uh, a lot of people are using the app uh, and, and the specific um, section in the app on sleep to help them with their sleep. It's both good uh, for getting to sleep and it's good if you happen to wake up during the night and need some help to go back to sleep. Uh, and tonight uh, Saurabh's going to introduce it and um, I just wanted to add too that uh, Saurabh's um, been involved in quite a number of uh, business ventures over the years that have all been related to health and uh, IT, uh, he's what in the um, entrepreneurial world they call a serial entrepreneur. And uh, when we got together working in um, health, I said to Sarah, I'm not sure being described as a serial entrepreneur uh, is particularly helpful. I keep forgetting to tell you, your yeah, but... too close to the <laughs> Show people your demon colors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little um, help from Ruth. She's trying to get me to put my screen down, but the problem is if I put it up, you get the lights, and uh, I haven't sort of got around to working out some other way to get around that. So anyway, um, yeah, I was saying how sleep's a really big issue for many people, and um, the apps... And the techniques that are on the app have been used by people for uh, decades, actually, to help to get to sleep. Um, and um, Saurabh's going to introduce it tonight. And I was talking about how he's uh, been involved in um, as a serial entrepreneur in health. And when we got in, um, in IT world, and I explained to him when we started working together in health that being a serial entrepreneur may not be a, uh, a useful descriptor. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> it's just sort of a little bit of background. Uh, the, the important bit about that, though, is that um, uh, Saurabh's actually uh, resigned from his most recent uh, position. Uh, in, a, in a company that's a publicly listed company and uh, is actually giving himself full time to helping with uh, uh, getting the app out to more people uh, and particularly to helping the uh, mentor aspect of the um, program uh, be more widely taken up. And uh, he's taken on the role of being CEO uh, for us and uh, it's really quite a big uh, step forward uh, for us as a little mini business and um, and uh, it's a big step for you too, Saurabh. So we're, we're really thrilled actually to have you in this role, uh, knowing how competent you are and how passionate you are about it. And it's great that you're in a position in your life where you can um, give yourself to a passion project, particularly when um, uh, the um, differential in pay that you <laughs> come from and <laughs> come from and are going to is a, uh, shall we say, considerable. <laughs> oh, You've gone from being paid to not being paid. That's the basic <laughs> bottom line. <laughs> anyway, over to you, sir. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to take on the, uh, the role. Um, you know, you, you and I have been at it uh, for uh, over, a, over a decade now, so about time to, uh, to really give it a good focus. And I think, you know, certainly we are heartened by all the feedback we get. Uh, from people who are going through the mentoring and people who are uh, using the app. Um, so, uh, so good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. And um, 
tonight. Uh, um, the session is focused on better sleep. There's a better sleep practice within the Alleviate app. <clears throat> I'd like to start with the assertion that sleep is perhaps the most important gift we have as sentient beings. It's uniquely rejuvenating, available to us anywhere, anytime, and something we readily spend a good 30% of our lives doing. And I guess I don't have to tell you about the rejuvenating, reviving effect of good sleep. You know that experientially full well yourself. But why is sleep so rejuvenating? Um, if you think about that, I guess the first answer is that it gives an opportunity for the body to physically rest. True. Um, but if you've quite literally lied awake through a night, you know it's not the full answer. In fact, you'd likely get up feeling perhaps even more fatigued after a night like that. Um, I think it has more to do with awareness or lack of it. In sleep, we're able to dis dissociate completely from identification with the physical body and also from the incessant chatter of the mind. The mind goes quiet, leaving us to be in our true nature, which is that of bliss or ananda in my tradition. In fact, the parallels with meditation are striking, withdrawing the awareness from the senses and thereby finding and remaining in innate natural bliss. My Vedanta tradition talks about four states of consciousness, being awake, dreaming, being in deep sleep, and the fourth being self-realized or enlightened. And the teachings indeed go on to say that there's actually only a very small difference between the third state of being asleep in deep sleep and the fourth state of being enlightened, which is that we are unconscious or unaware in the one and conscious and fully aware in the other. And so for those of us who consider ourselves to be on a spiritual journey of self-realization, self there lies the wonder of sleep. Enlightenment is there for the taking at any moment of any day if we can simply be aware in deep sleep. What a gift. But what then of, the, of uh, an inability to sleep? It can be a frustrating and tiring experience even if it's just for one night. And so certainly our hearts go out for those uh, for whom it's a chronic challenge. Um, now, physical discomfort or pain in the body can obviously be a cause for which there is the obvious range of solutions from things like changing posture, mattress, pillow, room temperature, all the way to seeking expert medical care. But in a lot of cases, the trouble lies with an overactive, overstimulated mind that finds it difficult to let go. So the practice we're about to do tonight is actually quite effective for just this thing. It's the progressive muscle relaxation practice but with the explicit intention of using it to fall asleep. The simple idea is that as the body relaxes, the mind follows. I have uh, reliably used this technique to good effect when I've had late night sport uh, with indoor cricket matches that sometimes started at 10 p.m. And the first few times were an absolute disaster for me. With all that adrenaline and dopamine uh, running through the system, I just couldn't fall asleep until you know, 2 or 3 a.m and uh, would in, then inevitably get up with a, with a migraine the next morning. So after a few weeks, it occur, occurred to me to try this very uh, exercise, this very practice, progressive muscle relaxation, uh, before I actually uh, uh, went to sleep. And it has reliably worked to treat. Um, that and a cold shower as well. So um, also with this being the first Alleviate at 8 session focused on this better sleep practice, I'd like to suggest that unlike all previous sessions, when we come to the end, I won't in fact bring you out of the stillness, just in case you have actually found, found sleep. <laughs> um, we'll just end the Zoom meeting quietly in about half an hour from now. So with that, um, when you're ready, you might like to join me for a few moments and let your eyes close gently. Turn your thoughts inwards. And remember that this is a time for experiencing deep, natural peace. So begin by moving your attention down to the feet. Really concentrate on your feet.
perhaps move them a little. Really feel what they're like at the moment. And now contracting the muscles of the feet, feeling the tension and letting them go. Feel the muscles relaxing, releasing. Feel the muscles becoming soft and loose. Feeling it deeply, completely, more and more, letting go. Then bringing your attention up to the calves. It is as if we move our attention through the calves with a gentle curiosity. No judgment, no commentary. Just a simple curiosity to notice how the calves are feeling in this particular moment. And even if there is some area of soreness, even pain, we aim to simply notice that. We aim to let go of any judgment or commentary. We aim to simply notice whatever sensations are in the calves right now. Simple awareness. Awareness of the feelings in the feet, just as they are. And as we move our attention through the calves, maybe we notice some parts do feel different to others. Maybe we notice the sensation of fabric on our skin or a gentle breeze moving across the skin. With our gentle curiosity, Simply noticing. And now we contract the muscles of the calves, tightening them up and then letting them go. feeling any tension dissolving and relaxing, releasing. The muscles becoming soft and loose, feeling it deeply, completely. a natural feeling, feel the letting go.
now the thighs. Again, taking time to feel the sensations in the thighs. Noticing any differences in those sensations. Awareness of the sensations in the thighs. And now contracting the muscles of the thighs, tightening them up and letting them go. Feeling it all through. All through the thighs, the calves, the feet. Warm and heavy, soft and loose. More and more, deeper and deeper, letting go. Now the buttocks, contracting the muscles and letting them go deeply, completely and feeling it all through the hips, the pelvis and the genital area, all through. Sometimes it helps to imagine that there has been like a belt or a band around the hips that is just being loosened a little. Relaxing. Releasing. Letting go. Now the tummy, contracting the muscles, the front of the tummy and the lower back and letting them go and feeling it deeply all through the tummy, calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Deeply. Completely. Feeling it all through. Letting it go. Now the chest, contracting the muscles, tight like a barrel, and then letting them go, 
and feeling it all through. Feeling it through the front of the chest, the breasts, and around the side of the ribs. Calm and relaxed. Feeling it all through. Feeling it through the upper back and all through the chest. It's a natural feeling. Feel the letting go. The arms, contracting the muscles and letting them go. And feeling like a wave of relaxation flowing down through the arms. The other, the upper arms relaxing, releasing, down around the elbows and into the forearms. The muscles softening and loosening. and feeling it in the wrists, the hands, the fingers, sometimes you might notice like a warmth or a tingling flowing down into the hands, maybe a feeling of lightness, Just going with it, going with it. Relaxing, releasing. Letting go. Letting go. Now the shoulders. Contracting the muscles, lifting the shoulders up a little and the chin down and letting them go. Feeling it deeply. Completely. And feeling it up through the throat and the neck. The muscles soft and loose. Just simply letting go. The jaw, contracting the muscles and letting them go. Feeling the jaw drop a little, feeling it deeply, completely.
the tongue soft and loose. It's a natural feeling. Feel the letting go. And feel it up over the nose and through the cheeks. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Feeling the ease of it all. The natural ease of it all. Now the eyes. Contracting the muscles. Closing the eyes firmly. And letting them go. And feeling it all through the eyes. almost as if the eyes are floating in their sockets. Feeling it deeply, completely. All through the eyes. Letting go. And now the temples, soft and loose, feeling it around the ears, the back of the head, up over the top of the head, calm and relaxed, calm and relaxed. Just going with it, going with it. Now the forehead, contracting the muscles frowning a little and letting them go and feeling the forehead smoothing out calm and relaxed calm and relaxed and feeling it all through Feeling it through the body and the mind. Feeling the ease of it all. The ease of it all. Just simply letting go. And feeling it all through through the body and the mind.
all through. Calm and relaxed. Just going with it. Going with it. Quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. More than relaxed. Letting go. Deeply. Completely. Letting go. Letting go. And now, it might help to take your attention to that point between the eyes, a little into the forehead. And notice there what is like a still, quiet center. A point of stillness. Maybe you notice it more particularly in the space behind the closed eyelids. So just holding your attention now lightly on this point of stillness. And it is almost as if you can merge into the stillness. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging, dissolving, maybe even a sense of expanding into the stillness, just simply letting go. Quite effortlessly. effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go and resting in that stillness. <laughs> 